Our news now, Secretary of State Clinton ordering an investigation into private guards at the U.S. Embassy in Kabul after a report revealed their, quote, deviant behavior. That's According to photos, come on, guys. Seriously, what, we we've have, seen the photos. We have, and we're not we showing you. Puritans these writing were, these these scripts now. We're, those what photos are looking We're going to bring a couple of witches, why don't you? No, these people were. Um, these are photos that Willie took in Las Vegas. I just don't understand the, the elephant comment. Um, and all right. yeah, who's the fully What's blurred guy? What is he doing? Right. Oh, oh, that's wearing hands. According to photos obtained by a nonprofit group, guards engaged in brawl and dr brawls and drunken behavior, it allegedly bringing in prostitutes for birthday parties. Okay, How do they guys. See guys, guys those black things. On no. I know. Uh, are you everybody shock no beer? I'm going to tell you right now, this That's is pretty serious stuff. Yeah, According to the guard zone statement, boy, that never happens in a war Joe. zone. I'm shocked. No, I'm shocked. I'm stunned. I'm deeply sad. That never. This has never happened in the war zone. You know, if we acted this way during World War II, would all be okay? Oh, wait. You know I'm what? Sorry. Go Just ahead. because there are cases of deviant behavior in the past that, by the way, include torture. Right. Sorry uh, to bring it up. Oh, here we go. Um, I will tell you that no. does not yeah. make this okay. No, it does. And this is kind of serious. It is. It is very serious, and I, I think that these guys, we should force them to go to Sunday school. Uh, seven days a week. I really do when they're in war zones. I do. This is, I'm offended by this. A, a guy, they're, they're doing, oh, that's awful. They the guards? Be, they should be brought home they should. and sentenced to go to a Whole Foods market with you this weekend. They should. They that would take cool. care of them. They just pick up a soda can and boom. All right. The guard's own statements, those who refused to participate, were ridiculed, humiliated, exactly. or even fired. And that's, that was Joe. Joe, that was Joe with his, over the weekend. That was Joe with his cucumber peel on his face. It's awful. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't remember a whole lot about Afghanistan. Uh, it's just a blur. Okay. I warn you that at some point this is going to become a serious story. This and you is all might want to get right your now. act yeah. together. Get your serious face on. I'm saying I've never seen or heard of this type of behavior you know, in a war your, zone in all my life. You know, this is your argument with everything no, that happens. No, it's not my that argument. I don't I'm saying I've never it's, seen this it, it, before. Because it's happened in our history, therefore it's okay. No, actually we want to develop as a country. Okay, We want to get better as a society. We don't want to torture people, and we certainly don't want to be bringing in prostitutes don't want to when drinking, we're in Kabul. Drinking beer at the and doing the elephant walk okay? and drinking vodka shots off of people's body. That's, oh, no, Mike you use shot glasses. This okay? has never happened before, right? World War II, our best... What, the, what our does guys, that have to do with no, whether no, or not I'm this just, is okay? I'm just saying because this is such a shock. It's stupid. You know what I'm suggesting is You're we live in a 24-7 news culture now, and if we had shined the light on the good war, if we had shined the light on World War I. If we'd shined the light on a lot of different wars, we, we would have come home and you know got the Samsonite suitcases off and come home in 42 or 43. Oh, it's war is hell. Some very bad things happen in a war. So let's just overlook it? What, what are they doing? It's an escape valve. They're having a little fun. They're, they're, all, they're all Americans. Right. Bringing in they're prostitutes and... Okay. Great. I didn't I mean, do that either when I was in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be very clear about yeah. all of this. Okay. He's an <laughs> excellent professional. <laughs> Guys, it's, you know what? You know Seriously. what? Seriously, and this is what I've been talking about for some time. Um, those of us that actually know people that have been in war zones and understand what happens in war zones understand that uh, a lot of things that... Uh, uh, that accepted modes of behavior, and I'm not talking about torture, I'm talking about in this case, break down. Right. Under the stress every day of knowing that tomorrow could be the day that you walk out and get a bullet in your brain uh -huh. and, and, uh, and you, you fly back home in a coffin. I don't know what that does to a human being. I have no idea because I, like you, live in the comfort of a world in Manhattan where the, the greatest danger we have is uh, you know walking across the street hoping on the way to go to a great restaurant we don't get hit by a cab. So I'm just a little less uh, willing to judge what these people do. Uh, yeah, does it look deplorable when we put it? Yes, it does.
And, and do I do I think that's a good example? No. Do I do I wish that uh, their their command structure would not have allowed uh, this this breakdown in discipline? Yes, yeah, sure I do. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and say, "Oh, I am shocked and stunned that these guys are blowing off steam like a lot of guys do in fraternities okay. across well, America." Well, if you would give me a moment to disagree with you, that would be nice. Well, because Mike Barnacle sec- is going to disagree uh, with me first. If you're the first. Secretary of State. Well, first and of, you get this report and these pictures. I would say you're what not going to call Clinton this deplorable, said. and you're not going you to look. Oh, sure I would. Yeah. Sure you I are, would. But you're going to also factor into it. These are private contractors that we're showing. This, this right. is not members of the American military. Mm-hmm. But it's it. Look at fine. The pictures are deplorable. You don't like to think about those things going on. It's Everyone terrible. understands that. Terrible. But it's not that big a leap between deploring these pictures, deploring this kind of con- conduct, mm-hmm. and saying, you know, oh by the way, let's reinstitute that no smoking ban. Uh, you know, in, among the military in war right. zones. Let's not I mean, let our the, soldiers the, smoke. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, let, let's, let's get Good real here. Lord. My God, these things are going to happen. These things are going to happen. And you're the Secretary of State and you're going to say that? Or no, you're I'm going to say it's it. deplorable, but I'm also going to say these are private contractors. It's not members of the American military conducting themselves like this, behaving like this. These things happen. I mean, we if, don't you're, condone if, it. if you're Secretary of State, you make the statement that Hillary Clinton made, and then you get on the phone and you call whoever's in charge over there in this area. And you go, hey, jackass, would you do me a favor? Yeah. Don't embarrass me again like this. Exactly. And maybe you fire a guy at the top. But do, do you sit there and, you know, put on sackcloth and ashes and, and say this is a worst thing? that No. It's not the worst thing that's ever happened in wartime, at least far, as far as I've seen, but it's pretty bad. And it shouldn't be, I don't think it's a joke. Sorry, guys. It's not a joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you don't have it's to not apologize. A joke. It's not Especially a, when it's it involves, not. and you haven't seen the other pictures that are no. far more serious. I know. Um, the you know, the bringing in off. prostitutes. It's, I mean, it's, it's gross. It's gross, and it's sad, and it's a, you know a situation that we have to think of in terms of the big picture and how long we want to be there. Here's uh, the lesson. Here is the lesson. And this is this is the uh, no, this is, no no this is the say? this is no this is the Buchanan this is the Buchanan uh, lesson. Why First of I all, even try? Don't record right. your conversations <laughs> in the Oval Office. Right. But if you do record your conversations in the Oval Office, burn the tapes. Mm-hmm. Secondly, don't take pictures. If you're having a fraternity party. Yeah, in Baghdad, don't take pictures. Seriously, what do they think? They're putting it up on Facebook? Here's another thing, kids. Don't put your pictures up on Facebook. Just don't do it. It's going to catch up to you. Seriously. Harold, did you? I did when not. When you threw these kind of parties in Congress, did you have people take pictures? I did not do that either when I was in. We didn't have take pictures. There's no Harold. stuff on Facebook. Fortunately, was not as prominent when I was in Thank Congress. Thank God <laughs> for you. All right. Otherwise, Let me, William uh, and I would have been